I knew as soon as she stepped foot in the office that day, this dame was different than the rest. She was the most beautiful broad I had ever seen. Jack, what, what the hell are you doing? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Are you the Spade brothers? Yes, ma'am. I'm Jack Spade, and this is my brother Ace. Your brothers? Well, I was formerly Archer, and then his family took me in. Now I'm a Spade, just like my brother. I see. Well, my name is Evita. Evita Nikita, and I need two good dicks that can handle one feisty bitch. Well, man, we've handled plenty of pussies before. Good. Then finding my bitch shouldn't be a problem. Sorry, man, we don't do pets. You'll have to hire a pet detective for that. What? Nothing. Well, ma'am, if the price is right, we'll help you find your dog. How's ten grand? Ma'am, we'll take it. Tell us about the dog. His name is Leo the Fox. Some people call him Mr. Foxman. He was a gift from my father. Please do find him. Well, ma'am, we can't make any promises. But we do promise to, to find, find your dog. dog. There's a woman here for you. She doesn't have an appointment, but she's a knockout. You want to see her anyway? Send her in. He knew as soon as she stepped foot in the office that day, this dame was different than the rest. The most beautiful broad he had ever seen. He knew she was the one. My name is Ina. Ina Nikita. I need you to find my beloved, Leo. Sorry, ma'am. We've already been hired to find this bitch by someone else. Bitch? Leo is a boy who hired you. A lady named Evita Nikita. Evita Nikita? She's my wicked stepsister. She doesn't even like Leo. She hates animals. Hmm. Please, bring back my precious Leo. I'll give you $15,000. Ma'am, we'll take your case. Got any leads? Well, he went missing last week, and the last I saw him, he was with his babysitter, Lorraine. She claims he escaped, but she's been acting really weird lately. Give her info to Janine at the front desk. We'll get on it first thing in the morning. I knew as soon as he stepped foot in the office that day, this guy was different than the rest. <laughs> It's a guy. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, uh, not not that there's anything, anything wrong, wrong with that. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Joel Gyro. I am coming to you on behalf of my employer. We seek a dog collar. This is a special collar encrusted in the finest jewels. We tracked it here to the States over a year ago from Istanbul. But it has been missing ever since. I seek to return it to its rightful owner, Umo Grasso. Got any leads? We have reason to believe it is in the possession of a Pomeranian named Mr. Foxman. Hmm. How much are you offering for this collar? My employer is prepared to pay you $20,000 and 10% of the sale. I apologize, gentlemen, but I must search your office. For that kind of money, we're not going to stop you. Yeah. Go right ahead. Lorraine Bobbitt. May I help you, gentlemen? You may. We're looking for a Pomeranian named Mr. Foxman. Oh, you mean Leo? I haven't seen him in weeks. Well, that's funny because the dog's owner claims that you babysat Leo just last week. Don't make this harder than it has to be, Miss Bobbitt. Listen. I can't really talk about non-work-related things on the job. Uh, hey, but I'll be at Discover the Pan Beaches and Boca Raton Art Convention tonight at 8.30. I'll answer all your questions. It's a long-winded name for an art convention. Now that's Discover the Palm Beaches and Boca Raton, correct? Yes. 8.30? Yes. She's hiding something. I know. Let's check out her place tonight when she Already is. Already there.
That's funny. It's 9 o'clock and she's still there. Didn't she say 8.30? She did. Well, looks like we're going to be on a stakeout. I don't want to touch you there, Uncle Tom. It's morning and she still hasn't left her house yet. Huh, she should be at work by now. Let's go. Already there. Another one bites the dust. Wake up, woman. Get up. Wake up. I think she's dead. Good work, Ace. You see what I see? A dog minus the collar. Exactly. It's your client! Interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are they printing magazines much faster nowadays? Yes, but are you thinking the other thought that I'm thinking? I am. Janine, take this little fella. There's way too many people after him. Also, call in a meeting with Gyro and his boss from around 8.15. And call Ina Nikita and get her in here for 8.30. I need to get on top of her. I mean, <laughs> we, we need to get on top of this. Also, please show up here around 8.45 with the police. Got it? I'm on it, Mr. Spade! Thank you. Hello, Umo Grasso, I presume. You can call me by my real name, Pauli Capico. You've already met my right-hand man, Jiro. It's Jiro. Tell us more about the collar, Polly. Do you mind? Not at all. The Knights Templars of Malta paid tribute to the King of Spain, Charles V, by giving him an immortal Pomeranian to be his companion for the rest of his life. The dog's collar was encrusted with the rarest of jewels. The dog will come to he who possesses the collar and lead him to the king's hidden treasure. So you see, the collar ain't the treasure, it's the dog itself. What time you got? I got 8.30. Right on time. You found it! It's a Bugazi! Of course it is. Do you really believe that silly little legend? We must return to Istanbul right away. Let's go! What is the meaning of this? Have you found my precious Leo? Yes, ma'am, we have. I'm afraid we can't return him to you just yet. They don't allow dogs in prison. Whatever do you mean? Don't play coy with us. We know that you killed your sister, Avita. You never liked her to begin with. The way she treated Leah made you hate her even more. Yes, it was me. I did it. I hated her. She abused my dog, and once I found Leo's collar... You shot her dead in cold blood. Using the same gun used to kill Lorraine. I did kill Avita, but I did not shot Lorraine. Avita shot Lorraine right before you stole her gun. 
A newspaper article revealed a 38 special was found at the scene of the crime. The same caliber bullet we pulled from Lorraine's corpse. The cops are on the way. But I love you. The sentence for murder is life, but if you're a good little girl, I'll let you out in 20 years and I'll be here waiting for you. Okay. Hey guys, I'm right here. Guys. <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm still here watching. Still here just watching. Just watching you guys. So together. The police are. Oh my god! It's okay, bro. You'll see her again. Yeah, perhaps one day, maybe. <coughs> Excuse you. That wasn't me. What? Well, girls don't fart. <coughs> My God, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What Polly said. <coughs> the treasure is not the collar, but the dog itself. 